Hi, uh, in case you, you're running a server with MySQL um, service enabled and being used and it's running at a very high CPU usage constantly or a very high memory usage constantly it is possible that something specific is causing this um, and you can actually use MySQL admin uh, which is installed with the uh, MySQL server and um, with MySQL admin you can monitor the current uh, MySQL processes so I've got it open here that's the MySQL admin command uh, it says client for administering a MySQL server so um, You want to log into your server where uh, your MySQL service is running, um, and you log in whichever way you do it. Um, I'm using SSH here uh, to log into the shell, um, and once you're in the shell, which will probably be the bin bash. Uh, you want to run MySQL admin proc or uh, I think you can run process list as well and enter and that'll show you uh, the current processes that are on the server and what you can do is um, well you can see for example who the user is first um, XM, uh, XM is an SMTP outgoing email server, um, and this is a, a process which is in a sleep mode, so it's actually not active and it shouldn't be using any processing power at all. Uh, I've got some more sleep, sleep, and then in the command. Uh, column it'll show you more details on what the query is basically doing um, on large databases what could cause high processing power would be bad database structure or bad database field types for specific database fields so if you're gonna try and select a specific field on a database table and this field doesn't have an index on it and the database is huge you may see in this process list uh, a query that says sorting and it'll show you the query under info and it'll give you a good indication especially if, when you look at the time um, if it runs for very long on a single select query, say for example, it'll show you the query here, and based on that query, you can then maybe improve your database table or field accordingly. Um, I've had that in the past, sorting very long on a certain field, and then just indexing that field could uh, make a huge difference. And uh, yeah, there are many other reasons why. But yeah, in your command line, um, I'm using macOS terminal. When I press up, it just brings back the previous com command I had. And as you can see, um, I don't have any issues at the moment. But I've had problems before, so I figured I will show this because I see a lot of people having problems on cPanel and WHM with a constant high CPU usage on the MySQL command and sorry to say but it's usually a bad database design um, that causes this there are more things that you can do with the MySQL admin command as well um, actually all you have to do is enter MySQL admin and it's gonna show you what's what's possible what you can do um, it's going to show you 
all the parameters that you can give this command um, it'll show you variables um, and some commands as well so if you want to know what your MySQL version is for example you will type MySQL admin version and it's going to tell you the version of the MySQL server um, as well as the version of MySQL admin tool and the protocol connection and socket uptime as well um, and some statistics so there you have it um, good luck and feel free to comment um, but the best way to do this to do database design is basically by learning the hard way and um, We'll get there. So yeah, thank you. Cheers.